What's going on? Oh. That cat thing just killed my buddy over there. Darwinism at its best. Alright, best place to craft something is right out in the middle. Flashlight without the flashlight. You mean on his head? Yeah, you'll see as it starts to get dark. I'm wearing my... I've got a headlamp. You can also craft a flashlight. I don't know why the hell you'd need to craft a flashlight when you start with a headlamp, but... It's for all those times when it's more convenient to have your hands full. He's moving really slow here because my stamina is down. So let's eat some flatbread. Eating seems to regenerate stamina but hurt you. So apparently the food on this planet is terrible. My lunch kind of did the same thing to me today though. <laughs> yes, if you're unsure, it's probably a bit of wood. Anybody? I assume so. It looks like he's trying to hit that thing. Yeah! Distract him. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Son of a bitch, you're fast. Oh, tree got in my way. And now you're chopping it. Like an idiot. Here, kill this thing instead. It's big and slow and of meat. Oh, I inadvertently ran right into the giant city, so that'll be good. I swear, this, this theme music, this basic overlay, like, serene, whatever. Oh. Oh. part about this game is there's all sorts of different weird creatures to come across, and they are really cool. You have no idea if they're deadly or not until you walk up to them, which I guess is true if you're on an alien planet, although there's all these other people here. They could point out, like, hey, you see that thing over there? Stay away from it. And I'm a little stressed that we haven't sent some ambassadors to talk to those giant folk and work something out with them. Is Dong back, or is he just dead forever now? I think I killed off my... one true ally.
Oh, that's sad. Hi, Martina. I need stuff. Bandages. I've got tons of revival still. Good enough. I could probably <laughs> change the music levels in the menu. Let's see. Options. Sound. But the music is like the one shining aspect of this game. Alright, which way did I go last time? Here's a giant red dot that can only be good. Let's go see what it is. The fun part, I don't know if you noticed, when I died there, it asked me if I want to revive. If you click no, it's just game over. It kicks you back out to the menu screen. So I think that even the developers knew that there was about a 50-50 chance that you'd just be done with the game. like a murloc. See, he's a little helpful dude. I'm gonna kill him because he's probably not very strong. There's something big moving over there. Well, that sure doesn't look good. And I'm also being shot at again. It's a very quiet alien world. Occasionally there's like birds chirping and stuff, but none of the enemies seem to really make much noise. Let's see, I'm running in the wrong direction here, but no I'm not. There's town. Let's bring this dude back to town and he'll either <laughs> they'll either take care of him or he'll wipe out civilization as we know it. Shit. Here's another thing. Is he still following? Now maybe it's not violent. His tongue's hanging out like a dog or something. Maybe he just wants to play. You too. This thing right here, it's a little confused. Here he comes. I assume you can handle that, all of you? Uh, 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 I don't know what she's doing to it. You might not want to know. Oh. You're doing like, no damage to this guy. Every now and then you actually have some visual effects that show that you're hitting me. Oh crap, I'm almost dead because he's doing his tailspin thing. And I can tell by the wonderful feedback. Stop spinning like a disco fool. What did I die of? It's almost dead. Yeah. Yeah. Ta da! Look at that. At how the mighty have fallen.
I get some meat from it. I really am at a loss for why I lose health for eating food. That's what's funny. If you go to the game's page on Steam, you know, they have their videos and stuff, and it all makes it look very... I don't want to say very polished, but... Definitely it looks a lot better than this. But the game does have a pretty uh, dedicated fan base. Um, I'm playing the single-player adventure mode, but you can do multiplayer. Uh, you can have persistence, uh, you know, hosted servers with persistent worlds like Minecraft. So, th theoretically, you could t team up with people to build up your own towns and make your own um, vehicles and weapons and items. So it's got potential. The problem is the very core things that make a game a game are, are terrible. For instance, I can pick this plant, I walk through it, turn around backwards, and let's see. And there we go. Picked it with my butt. <laughs> yes, if if the, you get more people to play with you, it won't be as bad. Um, this is about the fifth time I've said this. I could not, in good conscience, tell anybody to buy the game in its current state. Root for it. Hope they make it better. Yeah, I say that, and all day at work today, I just kept thinking about coming home and like designing a gun or a car. Oh, too many of those things. Jeez, there's enemies everywhere. I wish Dong was still alive. I miss him. My map says that there's an enemy right here. Ah, a little hamster! I changed my mind. Everybody needs to go buy this game right now. A space hamster. It's got six legs. See, every now and then you get those, you hear that like calling sound of nature. Fun part is that they're like completely ambient. The actual creatures that populate the world don't seem to make noise. But random unseen birds do. Damn you. I don't want to yeah. fight. Yeah. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Yeah. I'm a dyer, not a fighter. Yeah. I'm not going to survive this. Yo! <gasps> Bastard. <laughs> you thought I was dead. I was just playing. How do you inject yourself with a revival gun if you're dead?